Hello, you bunch of weirdos, and welcome back to the sexy, sexy Stokalona career mode. And guys, I must apologize because in the last episode, my form was absolutely crap. But in this episode, oh my god, this is the best episode I've ever done for FIFA 16 gameplay wise. Just. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I, the FIFA gods just blessed me and I just scored some absolute gems, some absolute juleps of goals today. And oh my goodness, I cannot wait to show you guys the freaking gameplay in this episode. Get hype! And speaking of getting hype, you guys absolutely smashed it. I asked for 40 likes for you guys to show the love for Sex Sex Still Kelowna and you guys smashed it with 50 likes. So go ahead and hit that button again. Give me all that love. Give me all those likes. And if you keep on smashing 40, I'll keep on producing sexy, sexy still Kelowna. As you can see right here, we are nine points behind Manchester United, so we got to keep form up against Newcastle. And what a cross! <laughs> they actually had a man free. I think it was pulled back in the box, but just crossed it right behind him, and then it'll be us on the attack. Fourth minute, Rafina skipping past two, and it gives it up to Saul. Saul for that was a box! And oh my goody goodness, this is what I'm talking about right at the gate, boys. Right at the freaking gate, we get a long shot, and guys. I've been struggling so hard, man. I've been struggling so hard to get long shots in FIFA 16. I've seen it that it can be effective with some people, but for me, I don't know what it is. I, but what I did was I went off screen, I put in a little bit of work, I got the timing down, I got the power down, and Saul of all people, I think he has the shittiest long shooting of all of our midfielders, but somehow got it in right there. And now look at this beautiful one twos in the midfield. Beautiful vision. And I ain't even gonna mess with it because you saw how bad my finishing was in the last freaking episode. And with nine points behind Manchester United, I'm just gonna sweat it. I'm sorry. It's not the prettiest. It's not. I I agree, but I still gotta go for it. Now Dimitri Payet's going in for the finish shot, but puts it a little bit wide. And then the 60 minute. What can Hesse do right here? Ooh, gets paid away. And this is why I sweated, you guys. Right here. Look at all these freaking shots. I try to go near post, op over and over again. And Tim Krul's like, why do you why do you keep on doing this? I'm gonna save it every time. And then. Ryan Shawcross actually gets the closest out of all of our guys, and then Tim Cruel does not keep it cool and just absolutely bumbles it. I think he gets past, he gets the ball passed back to him by by his defender. Just absolutely panicked and tries to clear. Amazing shot by Shawcross, and then uh, he just punts it right to uh, right to Gunkuri, who was into the game. And he goes ahead and he's going to go ahead and pound it tonight. They do have uh, possibly a consolation goal right there, but Wijnaldum we'll disguised it over the top, and we get a nice and needed 3 0 win. And that is back to back 3 0 wins up against Tottenham and Newcastle. And then it feels good. It feels good to be winning ones again in FIFA 16 as we go ahead and train up the boys. Ooh, Mr. Sergi Samper growing like a weed, getting up to that 7 7. Now, this is a crucial one, guys. Up against Olympic Leon. Now, if you guys um, do know about the table, we are only, we are in second place with only one point I, I believe above Juventus so we basically we have to win or we're screwed essentially uh, or we have to basically count on Juventus to get a tie and then we'd, we'd have to get a tie those were the only ways but to basically ensure that we were going to get through we needed the win so oh my god you do not know how much relief I felt right there I mean like I could have screwed up the sexy sexy Stoke Alona career mode in this game right now if I don't win so that first goal was just doing me wonders to my nerves I could kind of play a little bit more comfortable and you know when I'm playing a little bit more comfortable I'm going on but look at this that's what I'm saying like the keepers are just freaking OP in this game or not too much on the ball and once again look at that just in beautiful position we aim toward the far post and we cannot get anything out of it so I was just like what the heck I'm not gonna go near post anymore I'm not gonna even go near post anymore because I got freaking Wesley the Sniper Snyder! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh my god. Yeah, give him a pat. Give him a little rubby on the head. Look at that premature balding man right there. Oh my god. I was just like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna get closed down. I might as well have a go at the far post. And an absolute screamer. An absolute bazooka laser shot from freaking Wesley Snyder right there. And with a two goal lead, we felt comfortable enough to go ahead and bring in some of the, you know, the secondary guys, Sergi Samper, Kelechi in Nacho. And a great little shot right here, but look at that missing the follow up. Otherwise, that could have been a little bit nervous heading out to the game, but we advance, guys, and we will go ahead and be playing beyond the group stages, something that Manchester United couldn't do. But look at that. We escaped the group of death, and what a absolute piece of a game and what an absolute peach 
of a goal from Mr. Saul, better call Saul. Wait, was that in this game? No, it was from Wesley Snyder. What am I even talking about? We are going to be saving a couple of these games up against Middlesbrough right over there. I just think that our squad is a lot higher. But look at this! Manchester United still nine points ahead. They've yet to lose. It's 14 wins and two draws for them. And once again, I'm simming up against Sunderland just because I think our team is, is just far superior though. I'm gonna wait until one of us scores the first goal before I go ahead. We score one goal and I was like, mm, I think I'm pretty much gonna sim it from here on out. And we hold on for a one goal lead up against Sunderland as we go up against West Ham, who's been scintillating for him this year in real life. But we have stolen away Wesley Snyder from them. And we are starting uh, a mix of our first team and a mix of our second team, Payet. I actually am liking Payet a little bit more than Snyder, but with that goal, I don't know what we're going to do right there. And look at this. Early on in the game, Balotelli earning himself a little bit of free kick on the edge of the box. I had a couple guys, but look how short this line is. Look how short the wall is in this one. And we got to get up. This is exactly what... I don't know. It's something about... You see how Arnautovic is going to run up on this and boom, baby! Woo! Oh my goodness, it's just on that side of the goal, around that range, Arnautovic with the straight up run up, I don't know if it makes a difference, but it feels like I make a difference, I just, I don't even do the power free kick or the power driven free kick, all I do is I line it up a little bit to the outside of the post, and then I do the 45 degree angle push up on the sticks, and then about a one and a, like a one and a quarter bars, like barely anything, and look at that, just beautifully wraps around the wall. Doesn't even, I thought I was gonna go over the top of the wall, but as you can see from a different angle from this one, just absolutely no chance, just wraps around the side of the wall. Ooh, Bobby Yang should have probably stayed up right there, and he might have had something to it, but, whew, what a goal. Another goal for Mr. Arnie, and now, with that one goal lead, you know that pressure was off of me. Could Shakiri go gone well with the burp spin, laying across to Arnautovic? What is he gonna do? He's gonna go near post OP and all we go cheeky I remember at the start of the season they were saying that near post OP wasn't all that great but then all of a sudden when the next patch near post OP was just just uh it was near post OP and then now that we're back on this patch I'm going the triple tap at the near post and that seems to be working a lot more effective than the finesse OP or the power near post OP this is one two three get in the goal baby right there and there we go. Triple tap if you guys want to know what I'm doing. You basically triple tap the shoot button and you'll be shoot a P roller on the ground. And with two goals up in the, uh, in the 78th minute, we are basically able to hit them with a counter. They push all the men up front. And I'm just going to let them let the music play. Let the music play. Oh, my goody goodness, guys. That is, that is right, guys. That is right. That is the first chip that I have hit cleanly in FIFA 16 and this one isn't like he's running out at me he's just frozen to the spot a little bit off of the line and Mr. Super Mario Barotelli going up he slows it up and that's what you gotta do you gotta slow up right as you enter right into the box and you gotta see him right off the line and all oh, he is just left stranded Ooh, look at that float into the top and that was so satisfying oh he's just so satisfying to hit a freaking chip and I'm gonna go for a couple more in my future rounds like I was like I could not put down the controller today because I am playing way too well way too well but unfortunately as you're gonna see right here we are gonna be training up some of the boys and Grimaldo nice oh I see in a 74, but here's the big thing. Manchester United just refused to drop points. They are now 16 and 2. That's 16 wins and 2 draws. And at this pace, we're not going to win this league if I'm going up against the freaking Invincibles because we already lost our first match up against Manchester. Well, we didn't lose. We drew our first match up against Manchester United, and they are just winning every single freaking game. It's, it's, they're going God mode. It's, it's just ridiculous. Now we're going to go to our final match of the day up against against Chelsea Football Club, the former champions. But now look at this, Payet was thirsty for a long shot right here. And I saw on this corner kick that Payet was left all alone right there. And I said, you go, you go have a shot, son. You go, you go to you, Payet. You go to you. Don't let anyone else tell you what to do, Payet. You do you. And you'll be all nasty about it. You, if you nasty, Payet, you can just stay all nasty. Just look at what is Chelsea doing? Just absolutely leaving him unmarked at the far post. Well, not the far post, outside of the box, and just the cross the body shot is. Uh, apparently, that's the new OP. That's what I've been doing wrong. I've been shooting too close to goal. I just gotta shoot it from you know, 40, 35 yards out and beat 
Sivak Courtois, one of the best keepers in the world. Absolute bananas, guys. What did I tell you about the gameplay in this? But uh, all of a sudden, I was like, I'm just going to have a bit of fun. I accidentally give it up to Mikel right there. And amazing save by Butler. Gives it over and tries to sweat it. And then Wompy just absolutely skies it. Look how far. This is an open net, son. Prepare yourself. What are you even trying to do right there? And now we're giving over to Balotelli. And he absolutely skies this one. Not as bad as Wompy over there, but... I mean, might as well be. I just don't... Ah, when I'm in the box, when I'm in good positions now, I just don't know what to do. But this is even worse. Balotelli just giving it up. It keeps on continuing his run. And Wesley Snyder goes, Stop body! I think that's the... No more near post OP. I think it is settled. It is decided. Rip near post OP. RIP near post OP. Crossbody OP is the new way to be in this oh my god just shoot from distance and shoot across your body and shoot across the goal because that's what it happens just a beautiful little layoff right here uh wesley snyder gets one touch ox it almost actually gets closed down at the last second a split second more and he probably would have been but oh just expertly placed they don't call him the wesley sniper snyder for no reason and that would be it guys that would be it to go win up against one of the best clubs, if not the best club, you know, on paper anyway, in the BPL Chelsea Football Club, a defensive powerhouse that we were able to get past them with just some absolute peaches of goals. Basically, well, I guess like two crossbody long shots, but all right, this is getting ridiculous, guys. Look, 18. Are you kidding me? 18 and 2. 18 wins, 2 draws. We're in second place. We're absolutely flying. We got 14 wins, you know, 5 draws and 1 loss. That's not bad at all. Gold, we're actually tied for gold differential with Manchester United. But we can't. <laughs> this is we're almost halfway through the season guys we're entering now into december right here one more episode and we're into the transfer window and this is just this is just uh this is i can't even talk i can they have to start dropping points otherwise we're not gonna be able to win but what an episode what an episode lads and i just want to give you a little bit of preview of what is dropping off this morning you might not know but i'm a big old nerd and i love me some star wars so this saturday guys i will be dropping the first episode of the star wars freaking career mode yes lads a lot of you guys enjoyed the awkward well not the awkwardness the uniqueness of the pokemon career mode, and i thought i'd drop another little cheeky you know, unique series in the form of a Star Wars series, so you guys can go ahead and expect that on Saturday. If you guys did enjoy this episode, though, I I most humbly ask that you go ahead and drop in me a like, because come on, guys, come on. The gameplay in this one was absolutely scintillating. The long shots for days, the chip shots, that at least deserves 40 likes. Can we get it up to 40 likes again, guys? But anyway, guys, my name's Big Mutz. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember, stay yourself. Stay humble. And be weird. And may the force be with you.